Assalamu alaikum. Still in Sweden. Tomorrow I go back to the Netherlands. This is the last <laughs> conversation, last interview. What is your name? Where are you from? Aisha, I'm from Kenya. <laughs> Aisha from Kenya. Aisha, can you tell me something about this name? What means that in the Islam? Um, this was the Prophet's wife. Wow, beautiful. Yeah. Nice, nice. And she was also the oldest or the youngest of the wives of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? The oldest. For sure? Yeah. The youngest? The no, youngest? The youngest of the wives. No problem, no problem. Really? Yes, yes. Okay, Aisha. No, not a problem. You can make mistakes. Everybody make mistakes. Now you learn. The question for today here in Sweden is always, and it will never change everywhere in the, in the world, and that is how much you memorized from the Holy Quran. How much you memorized from the Quran? Not a lot, but I do know some stuff. Okay, not a lot, but you do know some stuff. What kind of surahs do you know? If you give, give me one surah from the Quran, which one you would choose? Allah said, I'm going to say, Can you finish? Mashallah, mashallah, thank you so much. Aisha, mashallah. Talahum ajrun ghayru mamnoon. Is it ajru or ajrun? Ajru? Exactly, you said ajru in the first time, but it means ajrun. Thank you so much, Aisha. Surah 13, one of the chapters from the Quran. My brothers and sisters, I want to tell you something, and also to you, Aisha. Quran tajweed, you know what means that? What means Quran tajweed? It is something you need to do when you recite the Quran. Can you explain that for me and for the people? What means tajweed? Have you heard, heard this? Okay, I will explain. Tajweed is how you recite the way how you should recite the Quran. Not everybody needs to recite the Quran like he wants, now like Allah wants. That's the rules of the Quran means tajweed. This tajweed, I have made them, alhamdulillah, an ebook. You can find them, mashallah, in the link in the bio for those who want to get it. And you will learn how to recite in the best way. Thank you so much, Aisha. Last message. Um, thank you for this experience. I think it really, it really humbled me. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> yeah, and really made me emotional in a way. Subhanallah. Okay. Hello. Hello. What is your name? Mons. From? Sweden. Swedish? Uh, half uh, Dutch. Half Dutch? Okay, but you leave. Um, I'm going to recite something. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have heard it before, maybe not. Mm -hmm. And just you give me your opinion about it. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. It will be taking one minute. Okay. <laughs> تبارك الذي بيده الملك وهو على كل شيء قدير الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا وهو العزيز الغفور الذي خلق سبع سماوات طباقا ما ترى في خلق الرحمن من تفاوت فارجع البصر هل ترى من فطور ثم ارجع البصر كرتين ينقلب اليك البصر خاسئا وهو حسير it was it yeah it sounds beautiful I like it I can't tell what it is but it sounds beautiful okay mm. thank you for your nice reaction yeah. and um, he can't tell what it is no you have no idea no really okay not. can you guess maybe which book it comes okay. you're ready Thank yeah, you so much, man. Yeah, you. you, right. Uh, my trams come now? Okay, okay. I, anyways, anyways. Yeah. Um, 
thank you to hear this uh, recitation yeah, from the Quran. You, thank you. And uh, have you. a nice day. Take a look in it. Yeah. He needs to take his train, brothers. I uh, understand. Maybe he's busy. He comes from work. But Alhamdulillah, sharing the Quran in front of the non-Muslims is also da'wah. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, says, Spread. Quran, spread even one first. And Alhamdulillah, just by hearing Quran, it can maybe uh, change somebody's life. Like you have seen the last um, a guy in Germany, 19 years old, I meet him, I recited Quran in front of him. After that, he decided to convert to the Islam. After two months, he died. Wallah. After two months, he died. Ya Habibi, as a Muslim, you, you can never know when uh, somebody can guide, be guided by Allah Azza wa Jal to the Islam. Thank you so much. Wassalamu alaikum.